Okay, here we are again, loading up. Now, i got to say, when I was editing that last video, I noticed what I'd done. There was a conversation where the guy I referred to as Lord Elrond, he said, come and see me when you're ready. And I just missed it because I was too busy waffling all over the cutscene. Here he is. So you just talked to this guy, apparently. Yes, I was wondering if I could ask you to leave your own soul with us here at the base. Sorry? I was wondering if I could ask you to leave your soul with us here at the base. Oh, souls and phases are a spaceship, innit? My soul? Sure, of course. I hope you find it useful. Here's the control unit. It's linked up to your brain waves. I hope it works on other people. Hand it over the soul's control unit. Thank you. We'll take good care of it. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Tell me the next thing. <laughs> Please take good care of Phase Edge. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. This is the guy. This is definitely the guy in the cutscene who's like, come see me when you're ready. Please take care of Phase Edge. Is that it? Damn. All right, I've we, got we new figured instructions it. for you. Come. Steady, steady. Wow, it was trashed, and they fixed it in such a short time. Incredible. So this is Eldarian technology. Amazing. Mr. Maverick. From this moment on, you're the captain of the new Calness. Why this dope? Miss Sionji, you'll be Mr. Maverick's first officer. Support him well. Sir! Faye Shifa Bolet, the planet Eldar. You will also be a part of the mission. Me too? All the other officers of Captain Class are injured and unable to handle the duties. That's I unfortunate. too have my hands full overseeing this base. Unfortunately, I can't even provide you with an adequate crew. <laughs> Take that, you two! <laughs> this will be a difficult mission carried out by a select few. Yeah. Whoever's now, left, whoever wasn't bitten by a huge bug. How about it, son? Do you accept? I'm only standing here today because of a string of lucky coincidences. Oh, do give a speech. I mean, you could just say yes, couldn't you? I know I didn't earn this through my own ability. That's for sure. I still have so much to learn from you, after all. Hmm. I don't What's he got to learn from these two? From I thought we've established his civilizations thousands of years you. more advanced Thank than ours. I am honored to accept the position of Calness Captain, sir. Wow, well, we're still on him Very accepting good. the position of Captain. Launch whenever your preparations are complete. One word, I pray yes. For your journey success. Very good. Sir. I pray for your journey success, since I'm incapable of doing anything practical about it. Great. Can we just take off now? Let's go to one of them unexplored planets. Hey, Welch. Yes. Why is Welch? Does she live in the ship? Yeah, that was a hologram. Did you miss her? <sighs> You've already been contacted, right? This is our new Aldarian crewman, FaZe. Wh what? You're just gonna ignore my joke? I sure did. Such advanced ignoring skills? Well, I'll be it's working even more face. on my ignoring skills. So, you're one of these aliens, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's unimpressed, you FaZe. very different from us at all. I, yeah, I thought you'd have like four like, heads you know... and green arms. All right. Give me the tasty human meat. I, I'm sorry, Faze. She means well. I think. She's just demented. Truth is, those things are actually Earthlings, you know. What? Earthlings? What? After just two more molting seasons, Edge will be turning into one of those. Oh, she's so having a job with him, right? Eaten, okay? Will he believe it? Come on, Welch. Are you trying to traumatize him? Does he believe it? Look, he believes it, doesn't he? Great. Hang about, what was the point of that? Welcome to an item creation interface. Cool. In order to create an item, you must first invent a recipe for the item. First, divide your party into groups and hold an invention session. What? Party's SP will go down by one with every revolution of the clock. You can invent recipes for equipable items only when someone who can equip the item in question is in the group. Likewise, you can invent, organize your groups as necessary for the items you want. Once you have a recipe, you can start making items and the rest is automatic. You can't fail, so go crazy. I am going crazy right now. Oh good, it's her. Well, let's invent some recipes since that's step one. Hello, anyone out there got any good ideas? I do have a good idea, but you don't want to hear it, Welch. Let's rock and roll. Fine pace indeed. 
Oh, I invented a pickled plum recipe. That's cool. Well, you get an E for effort. You say an E for effort or an A for effort? I can't. I'm having trouble understanding her voice. Anyway, that's great. I wonder if we can make a pickled plum now. Are you satisfied with this, kids? Uh, yeah. Let's... Create items. Shell armor. Great, we've got the components as well. I mean, I can't fail, so let's go crazy. Create one, please. Yes. Think you can handle that all by your lonesome? <laughs> oh, God. Is she gonna do that every time? Don't you dare cut any corners. Well, look oh, looks like she's got at least a couple of different dances she can show us. That's good, isn't it? All Thanks, right, Welch. A room directory is posted here. All oh, right, you can see who shares a room. Let's have FaZe and Edge bunk up. They'd be bestest buddies. Wonderful, he says. He's very excited to be sharing a room. Yeah, great. It's like a big sleepover. Oh, I feel like I've talked to everyone. I can't get off the ship. Do I have to... Oh, right, I'm the captain, aren't I? What am I doing? There seems to be a potentially habitable planet within warp range. Shall we travel there? Yes. Main engine ports connected. Well... Good. How does the captain I don't want to hear about anything being disconnected in so, this ship. This is how Crow sees the world. Edge? Did he hear her then? Or did he just completely being ignore her? Captain means you have to take responsibility. Oh, hang on, he's got a monologue. Ship. We'll come back in a entire bit. Entire crew. It's a heavy responsibility. Uh huh. Two Crow people you're looking after, mate. Burden every day of his life. Yep. Yep. Up, yep. Edge. Look, you're one <laughs> book up, Edge. What did you just say? I said book up. Right? All oh, right, yeah. I said you're a book yeah, up, Edge. I guess one day I'll be able to bear this responsibility properly. I swear it. Can you do that now? Seeing as though you're the captain now. Captain, launch preparations complete. Do you know what? I should have a counter, shouldn't I, for things that keep happening in the game. So this is dramatic launchings of a spaceship. We're up to number two. There was one in the opening, and now we've got this one here. Maybe I should start a crash landing counter as well. I don't know if there is another one in the game. I've forgotten every aspect of this game. Currently in warp, distance remaining to destination, 90%. Alright, let's have a chit chat. What are you looking at, FaZe? We have an incoming message, Edge. Oh, I don't recall whether I mentioned it, but the Kalnus has been equipped with an Eldarian Gravitational Bypass Communication System. I think gravity is a magic word in this game. Edge, there's an incoming transmission from the Moon Base. Yeah, I know, FaZe was just telling me about it. So you're the new captain of the Kalnus, are you? Is this the bald moustache guy? I was told you were a component candidate, but it seems to me you're still just a boy. Component, competent. How ironic. I got the word component wrong. Competent, damn it. <laughs> Really, first the missing captain of the Aquila, and now you. Am I to believe that the SRF has no one better fit for the position? We literally don't. They're all eaten by bugs. What we're after here is concrete results, boy. Successful space exploration. If you don't show me results, you show me nothing. Yes, yeah, sir, I am aware of that. You are, are you? I am astonished. You can make such a claim after the string of failures you suffer on your very first mission. Deputy Director, with all due respect... Step down, First Officer Sionji. This is none of your concern. Get back to randomly tapping away at those keys. My apologies, Captain Edge Maverick. Humph. Your First Officer is a slip of a girl. What, do you think we're playing house here? Oh, he's a sexist as well. We have no intention of playing anything at all, sir. The future rests on the success of this mission, which we're never going to get around to because of this never-ending conversation. We're responsible for the futures of every single human being on Earth. Well, you can talk the talk. Well, you can all talk the talk. I can't stop talking the talk. You really didn't let him get to you, Edge. I'm amazed at how composed you were. Well, it's true. We haven't actually produced any results yet or really done anything yet. What do you think would have happened if the Eldarians weren't there to save us? We'd have been gobbled up, I guess. It's imperative that we succeed in our mission for the sake of all those living such a miserable existence on Earth. Indeed, your positivity is truly admirable. Your gas-bagging prowess knows no bounds. Currently in warp, distance remaining 80%. My God. Let's go have a wander around the ship for the remaining 80% of the duration. I've got a feeling this whole episode will just be 
traveling to the new planet. Wouldn't you like to see the new planet? I was just telling FaZe about Crow. Crow? Yeah, you know Crow. Yes, I find his story intriguing. I'm told the three of you grew up together and that you think of him as an elder brother. Well, that's nice and succinct, isn't it? Actually, in Edge's case, he's more like a best friend. Is that so? He's not really a brother or a best friend. Oh, hang on, it's getting more complicated now. He's more of a, well, he's like a rival I have to overcome. And then she's going to go, well, he's, to me, he's not really a big brother or a best friend or a rival. He's more like a rival, huh? I guess he always did beat you at fencing and athletics and markmanship. Heck, even rock, paper, scissors and peeing up the wall in the boys' toilets. Why did I tell you about that? In the words of every kid who's ever lived, are we there yet? 60%. We're getting there. I never even dreamed something like this was possible, much less being able to travel with a man like you, Edge. What an absolute honour. Oh, did I tell you we're sharing a bed tonight? What are you looking at? What's on your mind, Raimi? You're staring into space. Is that a pun? Is that a joke? We're here to find a new world to take the place of Earth, right? Sometimes when I'm alone like this, I feel like the weight of that responsibility is going to crush me. I hear you. I wouldn't get so worried about it, though. Huh? It's not like you're supposed to accomplish this mission all by yourself. I'm here. Crow's out there somewhere. We've all got our friends in the SRF. And we've got new friends, too. Friends we're made of out here. Friends, friends, friends. I'll be there for you. Thanks, Edge. I'll definitely keep that in mind. No problem. Me and Faze are going to have a cool boys' night watching movies and eating snacks and stuff. And you can just sit in there by yourself. 40%, oh, we're more than halfway, we're nearly there. More conversations. The first contact between Eldarians and Earthlings, you say? Yeah, wouldn't you be curious about the first contact between your home planet and alien life? Oh yeah, I've kind of wondered about that too. Is every journey in this game going to be covered in real time? I wasn't involved in the event myself and thus don't have a great deal of knowledge about it. Why are we asking you about it then? It is said the people of Earth were somewhat suspicious and closed-minded. That doesn't sound like us. In any case, we now maintain healthy relations. We must be thankful for those who paved our paths, Earthlings and Eldarian alike. Whatever transpired in the past, we stand here together today. Surely that's enough. Surely it is. Of course, I'm grateful for your feelings. I see. Let's talk about our feelings and that sleepover we're having tonight. Let's talk. Let's do more talking. God almighty. Do all Eldarians fight with a sword like you, Faze? No. We receive training based on our latent abilities. To make long story short, I showed potential for the sword. Of course, many of my brethren use firearms, and there are even some unusual Eldarian folk who fight with scythes. Oh, God. I guess it's like how I was better with a bow or a gun. Yeah, he uses a sword because he's good at a sword, and you're using a bow because you're good at using a bow. Let's turn that into a conversation. Incidentally, Edge, why do you prefer a blade? Funny story, actually. Huh? If you don't mind my asking, I should like to know. There may be aspects of saw play I can learn from you. Hmm. I picked up a blade by accident when I was pooing my pants from a giant bug. Let's, let's hear about it. Well, there was a bit of trauma I went through. Trauma? Yeah, something that happened with my late father. Oh, right, I thought he was talking about being attacked by a bug. Uncle Arnold? Who's Uncle Arnold? My father was a scientist, an adventurer. I lost my mother when I was still very young, but my father and I travelled to the farthest reaches of Earth until I was about six. I see, it's fortunate that you were able to receive training at such a young age. But we got attacked while we were travelling by a biological weapon left over from the war. What? My father got hurt really bad, and I was the only one who could help him. I grabbed his gun and returned fire, but I was just a kid after all. I couldn't land a single shot on that thing. When I ran out of bullets, I pulled out my knife, almost without thinking. What kind of six-year-old carries a knife around? Looking back, it was even stupider than trying to fight with a gun. But I don't know. It was a miracle. Somehow I drove the monster off. Reckless parents. So I guess that's my reasoning. That's why I rely on the sword instead of the gun. Because I used to carry a knife around when I was six years old. In the end, I wasn't able to save my father. But the blade protected me. And <laughs> I was happy as Larry. If I'm ever able to protect anything, it'll be with a blade. That's how I feel. That's why I wasn't carrying one around at the start of the game until I picked one up by coincidence. I never knew. I'm so sorry. Even though we're childhood friends, I never bothered to ask you. Now approaching destination coordinates. Please prepare for warp out. Yes.
We've entered the target planet's atmosphere, now initiating landing procedures. I'll scan for life signs once we've landed. I sure hope there isn't anything like those insects on Aos. Ten a bet. Ten a bet, mate. Craft stabilization confirmed. Touchdown in five, four, three, two. Touchdown confirmed. We've landed on the target planet. I would have liked to have seen that. This is a rather cold planet, judging by the temperature. What else are you going to judge it by? Air composition confirmed. 78.204% nitrogen, 24% blah, 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 blah. Is that good? Is that good? Wow, it's almost exactly like Earth. I'm going to say that is good. You mean Earth when it was habitable, not Earth when it was bombed out by a nuclear war. Look at that. Hmm? These guys have never heard the Prime Directive, have they not? Just my imagination? Alright, let's go meet the locals and start handing out guns and stuff. What is that? Strange and exotic new enemies to fight. Just keep your cool and we'll be fine. There we go. This is what the SRF do. They seek new planets to colonize and wipe out indigenous wildlife. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy's useless. Great. That was funny, you deserve that. I just got a video game tune in my head then it goes do 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 What's that from? What the hell is that from? It just popped into my head fully far man. I think it's a Mario Bros. I don't know. Mario C maybe. Definitely never do Gotcha. That's what I do sometimes when I'm a bit bored, it's that humming drum over on the screen. Okay, Edgy's nearly dead. Oh, okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. I was just getting warmed up! This planet Bring better have blueberries. Do you know what? I bet it will as well. I bet all the planets have the same fruit and vegetables. Wow, look how primitive this looks. We can easily rob this planet. Look at him strolling up bold as brass. Be as ours, Shouldn't we change into clothes similar. to try and blend in? I hope our translators work properly. Yeah. Huh? That's... No, it can't be. A box. The gods! The gods have come! Alright. Well, if you wear some fancy clothes, apparently you're a god in this place. Our prayers have been answered! There's no mistaking it! I saw them with my own eyes. They came to us in their celestial ship. Uh oh. What? What's going on? Celestial what's going on? We cocked up the prime directive. Yes. What's going on? I believe there's a high probability he's referring to the Calmus. High probability. What Celestia. else could it be? And so they think we are gods, huh? We beg of you, O oh holy ones, please deliver us. A pizza. That was a dumb joke. I'm leaving in. I am the elder of the village of No Trigon. kidding. My name is Gimdo. Hey Gimdo. My name is Father Christmas. I should have been the one to greet you, but unfortunately, in this condition. Well, I was gonna say what condition? My feet have turned into stones. Oh, don't worry about it, it happens to the best of us. Our literature makes mention of a sickness known as Boculus. Oh my god. It is an ancient and infectious malady that renders the body under stone, as you can see. Then, in time. Hmm. In time what? I'm not detecting any viruses. So we can't determine how it spreads. Please, lend us your divine power. <sighs> it's not just the sickness. Monsters never seen before have begun to run rampant. If I was them three, I'd be worried that my legs were going to start turning into stones. Oh, here she is, playable character number four. No, it's all coming back to me now. Every night, we pray to the great star ocean, fervently begging for salvation. But alas... Ah. <laughs> young lady! Ah, hmm? uh, uh, sorry. Here you go, Grandpa. If I remember rightly, she's one of those characters that has no personality. I mean, more so. Like, her personality sure. is not having Don't emotions. Don't to water it, Kay. 
She certainly is a curious child, isn't she? She's not done anything yet. Please forgive the intrusion. Please this forgive the intrusion. Hey, you're scratching away at my floor again. Her parents both succumbed to the buculus. Finished. Grandpa, I finished drawing your amulet, so I'm gonna go north for a little while. Yes, that makes sense. Bye bye. What are you saying? You can't go off on your own. I'll be fine. What you gonna do I'm about it, Grandpa? Your legs have turned into stones. Everyone. Bye. I knew it. Symbology. Those markings are symbological in nature, though they do seem a bit different from our Eldarian symbols. Symbology? Mm. That's the strange power you use, right, Face? Mm, symbology. That's a bollocks made up word. All words are made up. Yes. In fact, Limble is the most adept symbologist in the village. Wow. Best in the village? <laughs> She's the only Surely, symbologist best. in the village. Shatter your bonds and come forth from the gates of purgatory. Cerberus. Reckless. Shut you up, didn't it, FaZe? <laughs> He's my little doggy. Okay. Maybe she does have emotions, but she just doesn't present those emotions in her voice. How dare you! It's all right. Anyway, what's she talking about? She's going to get a symbol? To the north lies a citadel called Alanair. An oracle skilled in the symbological arts resides there. We can but entreat the oracle. Symbol means magic. We get it. us a symbol to cure the baculus. That's why I said I'm going, Kay. Young lady, I'm telling you, you can't go alone. So, I'd like to beg a favor, if I may. You want us to go with her? What? Would you? Sure, we're not doing our else. Hold on, Edge. Are you serious? We can't just ignore these people, can we? But. Have you forgotten our SRF directives? Have you forgotten how vague our mission is? We can do whatever we want. And eliminate impediments to Seek out new life and civilizations. This Boculus definitely sounds like an impediment to colonization to me. Mm. Finding a cure for this disease would make a fitting mission for the SRF, don't you? Mission think? report. Yeah, we found a plan. It's pretty good. Um, anything nice we should know? Um, oh, this is finger around, turns oh, your legs face. into stones. Is, joke? Any is it serious? Decision. It's not a joke at all. You let the real reason slip a second ago. We can't just ignore these people. Of course, but I do have a favor I'd like to ask. You need to get all the money in the village and pile it up outside the Please gate. Stop treating us like gods. Oh no, he's going the other way. All right. Stop treating us like gods. As you wish. Otherwise, it's going to turn Thank into you. that film, The Road to El Dorado. We're all going to start singing songs written by Elton John, which would be great. Maverick. It's nice to meet you. Really? Your name's Edge Maverick? Well, that sounds made up and stupid. We'll protect you, Limel, so don't you worry about anything. <laughs> Lim. Lim? Would you rather we call you Lim? Edgy. Ray Ray. Edgy Ray Ray. Edgy? Edgy. What's, his Ray What's her nickname for Faye is going to be? Ray Quick, think of one before she says it. Well, how how do you abbreviate phase? So Who phase? No. Limo. Phase. All right, you right. Doesn't like her. You've got to be far more. Remember, hey, you were pissing all over her magic a second right? ago. She had to uh, sick a fire dog on you. That's what you get. Limo joined the party. Yeah. Great. So we've got a new party member. We've got a new mission. We've learned that magic is called symbols, symbology. We've got a new planet to explore. This is looking up, isn't it? I wonder what Limmel's blind side is. <laughs> Gotta find out. Okay, then Lim shows you stuff. That's pretty cool. But Limmel, there's only one thing we're interested in. Oh, she does a little roll. That's cool. Love it. Oh my god, I'm about to die. We're all about to die. Is there a place I can rest in the village? There should be, shouldn't there? Every RPG I've ever played in my life tells me. You get to a village, there's a shop and an inn. Hello. Yes, we would like to rest, please. 
All we need now is a save point. <laughs> I can't go in mental. Go on, do, do the thing again. Oh, you can talk to the cat. Cat says meow, what a surprise. Oh, it's a clever cat, see that? On its dialogue box. Clever cat, meow, meow, meow. That's probably something really clever if you can understand what cats talk about. <laughs> cool, all of it. Look at her sad little face because she's dead. Oh well. Grandpa's back at home with his stone legs. You are looking after Libel, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've just realised Raimi can have a little roommate now. So we've got Edge and Faze having a boys' night in, and then across the way we've got Raimi and Libel having a girls' night in. Which is, I don't feel so bad for him. Now. That was awesome. That just lined up nice, though, didn't it? Let me show you this ship. Come and have a look at all this new technology. See what she makes of it. Wow, Edge, your ship is so huge. Okay. Yes, it is. I'm the captain. Look at me. There you go. You can share a room with Raimi. There you go. You're so nice, Ray Ray. I like you. Cool. <laughs> FaZe, we're roommates. Edge, I've been hoping to ask you about this for a while, but what is your homeworld like? Well, we nuke the shit out of it. Our homeworld, huh? Well, its surface is covered by the deep blue sea, mother of all life. The life born of that sea is nurtured by God. He's starting at the dawn of time. It's nurtured by sweat, verdant breezes. It's a pure shining star born in the black vastness of space. Fruit of a billion uncountable miracles. My God. If someone asked you, it's like, <laughs> you ever met someone from a different place? Like, where are you from? I'm from Manchester. What's it like? And I'm, well, the vast oceans of the blue world. Oh, God almighty. Oh, we no longer have the luxury of setting eyes on our beautiful mother planet. We can't even survive on her surface. That's why we had no choice but to steal the planet from someone else. The conversations always go on like two or three more sentences than I think they're going to. I'm like, okay, it's over now. No, no, more to say. Well, that's it for another episode. Next time, the mystery of the stone-legged sickness. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again.